Look at that. They're trying to show Muslims are coming to him. And that's so interesting that the messenger Sallallahu said that one of the greatest fitnas that I fear for you is the fitna of the Dajjal. And it's so interesting that there are going to be Muslims who believe in him. Can you believe that? Can you I'm saying there will be Muslims who believe in him and that's what they're trying to show you right now. Way of life has cute. As you can see, I'm in a bomb shelter right now. I kind of look like a doomsday prepper. But the real question is, are you going to be prepared when the Dajjal does arrive and unleash his plan? Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, we're going to be analyzing the Dajjal trailer from Netflix and at the end of this video, showing you how you can protect yourself from the fitna of the Dajjal. Now the foundation for the Dajjal's arrival has been laid down since the beginning of time. They've been preparing for this for a while now, but now their programming is becoming a little more scripted for us. And based upon narrations, we actually know that the Dajjal is actually already here. Some people will accept his emergence, some people will reject his emergence. Either way, it's gonna be a huge fitna for the people. Let's see what lessons can we take from this video. Right? Looks pretty ominous. He's come out of nowhere and we don't know who he is. Uh-huh. So you know what was interesting about that? Let's go back over here for a second. We know, we know that when the Dajjal is supposed to come, there's going to be famine. There's going to be drought that's taking place. And the Dajjal's goal to deceive the people, to get them on his side. Like, look, I am truly your Messiah. I am truly God for the Christians. I am truly that Messiah for the Jewish people that have been waiting for me. I'm going to make rain and water come for you guys. That's the significance of this of this shot over here where there's a drought happening place. They think we're stupid. We ain't stupid. Nowhere and we don't know who he is. It's a drought. You see that? What do we know? Okay. About? Now, this is interesting because this is a frame shot of the Washington, D.C. And one of the things that we know about the Dajjal is that he's supposed to be involved in the politics, right? Like, it's not like the Antichrist is the politician itself. It's that the politicians are designed around bringing his agenda to fruition, right? So like their job is to bring the Dajjal's agenda to life and to lay the foundational work. So this is an interesting shot. He's leading desperate people. So this is a cult? We don't know. Mm, this is Masjid al-Aqsa, right? This is the Dome of the Rock. The entire compound is Masjid al-Aqsa. Don't get into argument with me right now, right? And they're showing this right now because they know how significant this is to the Muslims, to the Jews, and to the Christians. Who he's associated with. Okay, now, the fact that this man right here is walking in Masjid al-Aqsa, the compound of al-Aqsa, shows that he's supposed to be a Muslim. Right? Because Muslims are only allowed in that compound. I want you to think about this for a second. They're trying to trick us right now. No way. In Masjid al-Aqsa, the security guards only let you in if you are a Muslim. So they're trying to suggest that he is a Muslim. Interesting, isn't it? And before we continue with this analysis, here's a word from our sponsor. Nature's Blends is a Muslim-owned business that promotes a healthy Sunnah-based way of living. Thank you, NB, for sponsoring and supporting my content. Guys, please make sure you go check out their wide variety of Sunnah-based products and use my code SQ10 to save 10% off your next purchase. Link will be in my description. Now let's get back to the video. He could be creating an army. Mm. Or he could mm. be leading them to their death. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on here for a second. I know that girl. That's, oh, hold on, hold on a second. Being an army. Yo, I know that girl. I know that girl, SubhanAllah. That's uh, Stefania Owens. I met her family. I know her family. I know her mom and her dad. Her, I met her family uh, when I used to work at AT&T. They came as clients for me and you know, we remained in contact when I was in AT&T. And obviously since I left AT&T, I'm not in the contact anymore. I'm good at contacts. I want, listen, do me a favor guys. We need her on this channel right now. We need this girl on this channel. I want you to spam Stefania Owens. Spam her, send her this link, get her on this channel, guys. We need to have her on this channel. I'm gonna message her too. Look at him, he's kind of brown. You know, it's so crazy how they depict Isa Alayhi Salam usually is like this white, blue-eyed person. Nah, the messenger saw some said that he had ginger-like features, right? He had ginger hair and stuff. My father. And where's your father? Look at this. 
my father. You see, and that's interesting that he's mentioning the father, right? Because he needs, you see, the, the, the Messiah, the Dajjal, right? The false Christ, the false Messiah is supposed to relate enough to the Muslims enough to the Jews and enough to the Christians. And here's how it relates to the Jewish people. Jewish people still believe that there is one final prophet for them to come who is going to be their Messiah. So that's his relation to them. That Christians believe that the second coming of Christ and he's supposed to be the second coming of Christ and he's going to have the same types of qualities that Christ Isa al Islam had to raise the people from the dead and all that sort of stuff. So the Christians are naturally going to lead and lend towards believing in him. But the third thing is interesting because the Muslims have to connect with him too. And the fact that they're showing you that he's in a Muslim territory, he's in those Middle Eastern areas, are trying to show the fact that Muslims need to connect with him as if he was the Mahdi. Yo, these people are slick, bro. These people think they're smart. I, I'm on to you, Netflix. I'm on to the whole thing. And a Muslim would be able to read something that no other believer can, and that will have the kafir It will have kafir literally written on, stamped on his forehead, but only those who have the vision of Iman can see that on his forehead. That's scary. We've lost it. What do you mean? He just disappears. No one just disappears. Interesting. Interesting that he can just disappear, right? Hear me out. The quality of the Dajjal is that he is going to be able to appear in multiple places at multiple times. He's going to be every, he's going to have these godlike qualities so that people can worship him and show their allegiance to him. Now you might be wondering, SQ, where is the one eye? Well, you know, they can't show you everything over here. Eventually, there is going to be a one eye symbolism, right? Like he's going to like lose his eyes. We all witnessed a miracle. I know her. Stefan, you would spam her, bro. He spam her. Daughter's life. And you know what? Guess what? In the end of times, there's supposed to be a ton of earthquakes, tons of natural disasters. And one of the things about this Dajjal quality is that he's going to be able to bring peace amongst all this. And he's going to be able to settle all these things for us. The Dajjal would be able to feed people and make it rain and so on and so forth to settle these sort of dramas that people are having because he's supposed to be the savior for the people, but he's the false savior. You need to see this. And look at that. They're just spreading it all through social media. Bro, when the Dajjal comes, and he's everywhere, his videos are gonna go viral, bro. Like, viral. His stuff is gonna go viral. As long as you can. He didn't just click his heels and end up here. He clearly had help. You get around Syria, Israel, that? Texas. You need your own language. And what is that work? Look at that. They're trying to show Muslims are coming to him. And that's so interesting that the messenger saw to him said that one of the greatest fitnas that I fear for you is the fitna of Dajjal. And it's so interesting that there are going to be Muslims who believe in him. Can you believe that? Can you I'm sick. There will be Muslims who believe in him. And that's what they're trying to show you right now. Look, people are kissing his hand because they believe that he is the savior. They believe it. Do you think he is? He didn't see what I saw. And if I did, would I be calling him the second coming? How far will this new movement spread? There's going to be, these are all signs of end times where there's going to be tons of wars, right? The person killing will not know why they are killing and the person being killed won't understand why they've been killed. These are all signs of the end times and this is the time where they're bringing this Messiah, but he's the false Messiah. Or Kanye, right? So it's, it's like they've, you see, for the average people, they don't understand what Dajjal is, but the Muslims are spoiling it for you, bro. Spoiler alert, people. He is the false messiah. He is here to con you. He is doing that. And it's definitely not a coincidence that the person playing a Dajjal, his name is Al-Mahdi. Cut it out, bro. And the Mahdi is supposed to be the savior who's supposed to... Bro. Guys, I repeat, SQ is on to us. I repeat, SQ is on to us. Abort, abort, abort. I'm going to find out everything about me.
Guys, one of the ways that we can protect ourselves from the Dajjal and his fitna is to learn more about him, learn more about your religion. Learn about the fact that there are people who are not Muslims and they're making videos about him because they know it's the truth. They know they're preparing for his coming. They wanna cause confusion in people's hearts so that when the Dajjal does arrive, you don't understand his purpose and you are confused and you are more likely to follow him. So the question you're asking yourself out there is Q, how do I protect myself from the Dajjal? Well, it's super simple. The first thing you do is not engage in those types of things. Or you're hearing of the Dajjal or you think that he might be emerging, you stay away from that news and you stay away from such people who associate and affiliate themselves towards him. Seek Allah's protection from the Dajjal. The Messenger Salaam after each prayer would seek protection from the punishment of the grave the punishment of the hellfire and the fitna of the Dajjal. So make sure that you make those du'as after your prayer as well. The third and most important thing that I want you to focus on, especially since it is a Jum'ah while this video is released, is that you read Surah Kahf. The Messenger saw some is taught us that a person who has memorized or who has read the beginning 10 ayahs of Surah Kahf, and some also attribute the last 10 ayahs of Surah Kahf as well, are protected from the fitna of the Dajjal. Meaning if you are someone who reads, recites, and memorizes, the first 10 and or last 10 of the ayahs of the Quran for Surah Al-Kahf, you are protected from the Dajjal. So there's a reason that the Messenger them advised us to read Surah Kahf every single Friday because it is that important for our Iman and protection from the Dajjal. But don't be gloomy and become all negative. Don't be like, what's the point of even earning money anymore or working, bro? The Dajjal is here. What's the point? The Messenger them taught us that if you were planting a plant in the ground and you saw from a distance that the Day of Judgment was on its way, don't stop planting that tree or plant plant, instead finish planting that tree or plant, even though you can see that the Day of Judgment's on its way. We learn from this, guys, that do not become all negative and gloomy because you see or think that we are in the end of times or the end is near or the Akhir is about to happen because you can't control when the end times will be or perhaps when the Dajjal is going to come. But what you can control is how you respond to your day-to-day -day interactions. What you can control is preparing for the hereafter. And that plant signifies control. Controllables, meaning things that we can control are in our hands. We need to focus on that and leave the rest in the hands of Allah. Zakhar, whoever watching us, tell me in the comment section below what were your thoughts about this entire trailer? Or if I missed something or left something out, please let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, I'm out.